What's going on, guys? I'm Dominic Jordan. Um, I want to talk to you guys about representation. And does representation really matter? Um, I was thinking about Shikari. I was thinking about that first um, initial critique that people were making about her appearance. And I thought to myself, you know what? I like how she looks. Like, she, she had this real fierce look, man. I like the, the nose piercings and the long orange hair and the long fingernails. More than likely, she's probably playing, paying homage to uh, Flojo. But, um, you know, so a lot of people have some negative things to say, and I thought about it. Like, we don't always have to have this perfect image of us, right? And I think it's important that little girls in the hood are able to see young women that look like their moms, look like their aunties, their cousins, their big sisters, right? You need to see that mirror reflection of yourself doing great things so that you too know that you can also do great things as well. And that's what happens and that's ways that representation matters. Um, again, with uh, Zalia, I think her name, Zalia Avant-Garde, the girl who won the spelling bee, dope. Representation matters in those areas. I like that because I can say to my daughter one day, like, look, you're having trouble sp spelling, but check out this young lady. Boom, she did it. Meaning you can do it too, right? In those areas, that's where representation absolutely matters, right? I like that. But check this out. Where does representation not matter? Or at least where I don't think it should matter anymore for us? Politics. You take a look at Kamala Harris, right? It's quiet now, right? Everybody did the whole, um, you know, we're going to hold them accountable after the fact. No, we just got another face that supposedly looks like us, supposedly represents our culture. Um, you, you know, she had all these identifiers like being Jamaican and um, going to Howard. And I thought about it and I said, the part of Jamaica where her family's from is 30 minutes from where I'm from. And I'm still not voting for her, right? That's like the closest connection that I have to her and it doesn't matter. Because it's not enough that you represent all these other things. Not enough that you represent my culture. Not enough that you represent my race. Um, not, 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 not enough that you're even from maybe somebody's alma mater that you went to Howard. I also need you to represent my interests. If you don't represent my interests concerning politics, then it doesn't matter. I will never, ever, ever point my child to Kamala Harris and say, look, you can do this too. Politics is way too dirty of a game. And this is all about a transaction. That's why you give them your vote. Not for symbolism, not for the representation, but the fact that you also are going to make sure that you represent my in, my interest. And I guess like that's the whole thing, provided that, you know, you are these things, you will also represent my interest because we share similar experiences. But technically we don't. She comes from a very elite background and a lot of her so-called blackness is very performative. And when people spoke out about it, you know, people were called sexist and whatnot or what they would do, they would take the sexist voices and the misogynist voices and they would amplify it and make it seem like it was a large majority of us and that was the main critique when it wasn't. So they can shut down the actual critiques about her previous history, her policies. I would never vote for anybody that would stop men that look like me from going through an early release program so they can fight dangerous forest fires in California. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Why do y'all vote for her? Like, think about it. Does representation really matter to you? Does it really matter to you? Concerning politics, like, what does this mean? What does this do for you? There's no material change. There's no tangible benefits. You just have somebody who supposedly looks like you. I think we lost out this time. Provided that we can salvage anything from this mess, I think moving forward, we have to get a lot more sophisticated with our approach concerning politics because, nah, we messed up big time. Well, I don't even want to say we, um, y'all, because I didn't vote for her. Doesn't mean I voted for Trump either. Um, but no, I did not vote for her. I need you to represent my interests, not just everything else that's external that really doesn't matter, right? So yeah, representation matters, but 
we have to be nuanced in our approach and kind of have some balance to it, right? So when it comes to Simone Biles, Shikari, uh, Zalia, Avant-Garde, th those are the young people that I'm gonna point to my child that she can look up to as a role model. Never, ever am I ever gonna point my kid to a politician, never. Big mistake. Anyway, I'm Dominic Jordan. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you have disagreements, please feel free. Leave something in the comment section. I go back and forth with you. All right, deuces.